It's among the best known logos on the planet, that stylized apple with a bite out of it. But some say Apple's just not as crisp as it once was. On September 12th, when Apple announced the new iPhone 5, its stock was near $667 a share. A week later, it hit $702, a record high. But while the new phone sold well, there were some bugs, like a poorly received Maps app. After Apple's CEO Tim Cook apologized, the stock fell and kept falling. Then came a management shakeup. Again, the stock fell. On Friday, Apple closed at $528 per share up slightly from Thursday, but down 25% from September. So is Apple's slump a temporary blip or is it something more? Joining us are David Kirkpatrick, tech journalist and author of The Facebook Effect, and John Abel, columnist with Reuters Media File. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Morning. Good to be here. David, let me start with you. What do you think is happening with Apple? I think Apple's being treated as if it was Amazon. In other words, a extraordinarily highly valued company that has future prospects that are amazing. Apple instead is actually a company that is incredibly successful today. So its margins are super, super low. And I think it's a huge buy at this current price myself. John, how long does Apple CEO Tim Cook have before he shares those major prospects David's talking about with the world? Oh, very long time. Look, I mean, we're, in, we're kind of in a resting phase here. We've got uh, devices which are selling very, very well. We all have very short memories about revolutions. If you're under mm -hmm. 15, you assume every few years the world changes forever. It doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. They're making lots of money. They have lots of money on hand. They have things that they're going to be doing. It's not a time to worry very much. Yeah, but that said, everything that rises must fall. Yeah. And things come and go a lot faster these days than in the past. But Apple is still an extraordinary machine of execution, unbelievably profitable, that builds products that almost everybody wants once, even though they might end up buying a Samsung because it's cheaper. Well, so how much should you read into sort of the management shakeup they just went through? Too, too important? Much. No, you don't think so? I don't think that's No sign sort of, of distress thing. in the company? No. I mean, you know, it's, with Steve Jobs gone, the microscope is even more firmly planted on Apple, but I don't really think that's a big deal at all. I think, you know, Johnny Ive, who took over the position of the guy who left, is the guy who's really helped Jobs conceive of this entire range of products. I have a lot of confidence in his talents. You know, you mentioned Samsung. Samsung now has 72% of the smartphone market. They didn't have an Android phone until just a couple of years ago. So in a matter of a very short period of time, you have a new market leader taking things away from iPhone. And I'm reminded of Nokia, Ericsson, Research in Motion. Where did those companies go? Well, they failed to do what Samsung did, which was to copy very well. So Samsung phones, look, nothing looked like the iPhone until the iPhone, and now everything does. Uh, Android, for all of its uh, advantages over iOS, is pretty much the same idea. Mm -hmm. um, what happened was, you know, the iPhone 5 was coming out and fewer people bought the older version. I, I have a feeling that that's going to be an aberration in that quarter, mm -hmm. but the point is that the iPhone can be beat. Right. Somebody mm -hmm. will beat it. Could be Apple. But could does be it go else. the way of Nokia and Ericsson if it is? No, and because, does Apple go that way? Because Nokia and Ericsson failed to innovate. They right. thought that they would be able to do what they were doing forever. They does, thought feature phones were it. Does Apple need another big thing at this point? Everybody yes. always needs another big thing. <laughs> but, but at this point is the big phrase. What is it? Uh, well, it could be TV. You know, that's something you guys should care about. And, and th there's some rumors that even Apple's supplier, Foxconn, is looking at a factory in the U.S. and it's speculated that might be to build TV products. Apple has great ideas for making media easier to consume and acquire. And if they can do that for TV, I think most viewers of this show would be pleased to buy their product. All right, David Kirkpatrick and John Abel, thanks both of you for being well, here this guys. morning.